So how can we resolve this? Because this is, as you can see, not only is it affecting the person's sex life, but it is affecting them psychologically. So it's something that should be addressed, not only for the sake of the relationship, but for the each partner that's in the relationship. So what do we do if there is a mismatched desire? Well, first, it should be determined if there is an individual physical issue that could be the cause of the lack of desire. So for a man, I would have him go and have his him check his testosterone levels. And for a female, I would also have her visit her primary care physician as well. We want to rule out any health problems. Additionally, I would want a full list of medications that both of them are on, if any. And if they're taking SSRIs, I would have them talk to their prescribing physician about changing the dosage since this is linked to low desire. If perhaps it's chronic marijuana use, which does lead to a number of sexual problems, especially for men, then I would recommend that they perhaps stop. After this, it's important to work with the couple to determine if there are any relationship conflicts that are causing the lack of desire. I mean, perhaps the reason they are not having sex is because one of the partners is not satisfied with the relationship. Maybe they no longer want to be in the relationship but cannot bring themselves to end it. They don't want to hurt their partner or change things. It's interesting that people stay in relationships for many reasons. It could be the kids. It could be because they're unable to support themselves financially, whatever. But for whatever reason, they're still with their partner. But just because they're with their partner doesn't mean they're happy doesn't mean they want to be with their partner, and so they definitely don't want to have sex. It's also sometimes good to have the couple create sort of a timeline in order to get things into perspective. So maybe for the last 12 months, if they can, 24 months would be great. But I would ask them if they can try to remember how many times they had sex each month. You know, if they can go back that far. 24, 24 months could be a long time to determine how many times you've had sex each month. This is why I think journaling is great for your sex life. But uh, if they if they can go back as far as they can, maybe they can't even do 12 months, maybe they can go back six months, and if they can mark how many times each month they had sex. And this way we can look at it, and if we see that there's a gradual decline, this could be something very normal. And it's not a severe issue. It could be due to aging. It could be due to certain times of the year. It could be due to certain things that have taken place at work. You know, I might say if we if we sl- slowly start seeing this decline, we m- I might have the couple think of things that have been happening during this time, not necessarily in their relationship, but in their personal life or in their family structure. Maybe they lost a loved one. Maybe they've been dealing with bankruptcy. Maybe they've been dealing with extra stress at work. These could all be the reasons. So when we see a gradual decrease like this, then it could be that that we can determine what the issue is, and it's usually something less severe. And so it's a great way to um, rule out something that's very serious. Now, if they've gone to their primary care provider, their OBGYN, and they've been assessed as a couple, and there are still issues, well, what do we do? Well, first, it's important to, that the couple communicates with each other. What are they going to talk about? Well, sex, obviously. <laughs> the obvious thing to discuss is how often each partner would like to have sex. So I would say, ask your partner, how often would you like to have sex? Tell your partner how often you'd like to have sex. And it's good to work together as a couple to compromise so that they're both happy. Suppose one partner wants to have sex four times a week and the other two times a week. Well, they could compromise and have sex three times a week. And this works very well for a lot of people. 